Welcome back, bonbons. I'm sure some of you have wondered how these are colored. It's crayons. Just kidding. Please don't eat crayons. It's actually a type of paint. Cocoa butter paint. This is a 1.7 ounce bottle and a 7 ounce bottle from Chef Rubber, so you can see the size difference if you decide to buy some. You can mix your own colors, of course, using cocoa butter and oil-based food colorings, but then you have to temper it and it's hard to color match. The pre-made stuff comes tempered already, so as long as you're careful not to melt the entire thing, you don't have to temper it. Let's do the fun part first, and then I'll talk about the equipment. Let's paint. You might have noticed that I was wearing gloves. The thread in particular will stay in your hands for days. So unless it's not a problem for you if you look like you've committed a heinous crime, I suggest you wear gloves too. Sometimes the tip where the cocoa butter comes out can clog. This can be fixed with either a clean pin or with a heat gun on low for just a few seconds. You can use a hairdryer in a pinch, but it will take longer. Don't waste any more of this beautiful color than you have to. Scrape off the excess first, and then wipe the residual with a paper towel. If you don't want to invest in an airbrush, you can use a clean paintbrush that has never been used for anything else to paint the cocoa butter in. If you find, while you're painting it in, your brush hardens with the cocoa butter, you can use a heat gun to gently melt the cocoa butter again. Be careful not to melt your brush. Once your molds are decorated, it's business as usual. A chocolate layer is necessary as the cocoa butter won't be strong enough on its own to hold a filling. And voila! This first one is one of the painted ones, and next to it is an airbrushed one. You can see it doesn't look any different, so feel free to try whichever method you prefer. This is an air compressor. This one has a water trap to prevent any moisture from coming out with the air. This is necessary, as water and cocoa butter don't like each other. This is the airbrush I use. It is not a gravity feed, which means it's much easier to clean. The cocoa butter is drawn up and comes out right in front of the air nozzle. I'm going to use a sheet of acetate to protect my surface from overspray. This red makes it look like a murder scene, and if you ever cleaned a murder scene, you know it's a pain. I heat the whole bottle in the microwave until it just starts to melt. Shake it to pre-crystallize it. The agitation and the unmelted tempered cocoa butter will help ensure the melted part is still tempered. Then pour it into your airbrush jar. This is the mold I'm using. I already polished it with a cotton ball like I demonstrated in the chocolate shell video. And the last piece of equipment is a good filtration mask. Cocoa butter may be good for softening your skin, but your doctor and I agree, your lungs don't need to be softer. That's all there is to it. Until next time, bye bye bonbons.